Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We got Bing back here for his eighth of eighth visit here this week. Uh, he's a pharmacist in Seattle, Washington, and he flew all the way over here to Houston just to get treatment here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. And you've been adjusted every day, twice a day, for four days in a row now. Yep, sure have. This will be your eighth one. Yep. And tell them how you've done so far this week and what you've learned. So I learned a lot. Dr. Johnson is a great source of information. You can ask him about alternative modalities, alternative paths of healing. For example, Rolfing complements chiropractic very well. So you can ask him all sorts of questions. He's very open to it despite being very busy. And I, I felt personally, I felt a couple of benefits. My posture is much easier to maintain. They always tell you that a helium balloon should be yanking at the top of your crown, right? To maintain good posture, and that's very tiring. Your plumb line. Yeah, yeah, your plumb line, yeah. But now it, it is much easier to stand up straight. Uh, I feel like perhaps some more beneficial changes will be uh, evident manifesting later on uh, because you know I have had this chronic issue of not being able to weight lift because of some shoulder tension and pain and some hip issues but overall I, I feel like this is definitely part of the path of healing yeah and I'm, I'm glad I'm glad I came and I'm glad you had an open up mind uh, yeah, being hey. a pharmacist to, to come to the drug free route yeah, yeah I mean that absolutely true you know we our bodies have own, our own healing, healing mechanisms, yeah. Right. yeah, and we should be more open-minded to so-called alternative therapies because right. the human body is extremely complex, yes. and to say that we know and all about it, it's intelligent, it's intelligent, it's healing. Yeah. right, and intelligent beyond our, our own awareness, Capabilities. Yeah, yeah, right now, science can only tell us so much about the human body, there's right. so much mystery about it still, right. so to keep an open mind, that, and that's, that's really what the chiropractic's all about is the body healing itself without interference. So uh, right. we as chiropractors are mm -hmm. just taking away nerve interference by correcting verbal subluxations in your mm -hmm. spine and pelvis. Mm -hmm. and, and then your body does the rest. Yep. I'm not Jesus. I'm not healing you. <laughs> He's using me to heal, put you back in place, but mm -hmm. I'm just Conduit. a tool and instrument of the right, right. Right. Mm -hmm. He does the healing. Right, well, right. Let's show him how we do that, man. Let's mm -hmm. have you flex your head forward and backwards. Now you crack eggs to love Bing's adjustment. He's definitely a noisemaker. <laughs> he's, he's got a lot of good cavitation in him. So I've, I've noticed since uh, being adjusted twice a day, there's been fewer cavitations. Does that mean that there's fewer subluxations to correct? Well, or the gas that... just hasn't built back up in your I see, I see. synovial joints. All the right. synovial fluid is what creates that nitrous gas bubble in the synovial joints. Gotcha. So it's not necessarily... So then when I open up the joints, that yep. explodes. Gotcha. But you're still pretty plenty noisy. <laughs> okay. I mean, when you're getting adjusted twice a day, you're probably not going to be as loud as you were if you're getting adjusted just once a week. Right, right. Every couple of weeks. Yeah, it seems more smooth. That first ring dinger, that, like the one that wasn't built... fibrotic adhesion. Yeah, something. yeah. It, that, was, that, one was a sh that was a real shock. I mean, it's still a shock, but... It's definitely um, like it's easier used to it, as we yeah. go along, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, and just relax your hands here. There we go. Okay, Bing. Oh! See, that was still home run. You were still plenty noisy on that one. And look at there, you're still keeping. Yeah, yeah, so much. <laughs> you know, you would, you would tell this to a you know medical doctor, and well, I've done this to medical doctors. But on, on a superficial level, it seems like you're going to break something, but this is... No, this body's is, tough. I mean, yeah, body's I'm, tough, a, yeah. I'm a black belt in <laughs> martial arts. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. So I know how to break your spine okay, and your well. neck, and it's, it's a very difficult thing to do. All right, I won't get on your bad side now. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, tell me. so when you know how to break somebody's neck and elbows and wrists and shoulders, you also know how not to. Not to do it? All right. What what uh, martial art? Taekwondo, Chung Lu Kwan, and Tu Kong Lu Sul. Okay, I can't pronounce half of those. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's multiple. Wow, you sounds like you got a lot of experience in different spectrums of martial art. Yeah, it changed my life as a youngster. Oh, really? Yep. Made me a better chiropractor too. Uh, in what way? Well, when you when you know how to focus a punch or a delivery, that's a high velocity. Some, most of the time in martial arts, high amplitude as well, but with chiropractic, it's a high velocity, low amplitude for us. That's what the ODs call it. Oh, the DOs. DOs. Osteopaths went more allopathic than chiropractors did. 
They used to do manipulations a uh, lot more, but mm -hmm. now they're kind of yeah, they're just like positions. Yeah, they're basically indeed nowadays pretty interchangeable. Yeah, they lost that unique aspect with the uh, with the uh, high velocity. Well, well when the drug adjustments. companies, and, you know, they started writing prescriptions. Yeah, that's what changed it. Yep. That said, though, you know, it's it's hard to say where all the money's coming from. Chiropractic is the largest non-drug healing profession in the world. Measured by the number of practitioners? Huh? Measured by the number of practitioners or? No, just, just the chiropractic itself mm -hmm. is, is the largest mm -hmm. profession overall in the world gotcha. that, that doesn't use medication. Gotcha. I mean, there's, you know, there are acupuncturists and like, you sure. know, uh, like all cupping and all that. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. There's all kinds of all kinds of stuff. Yep. Out there. But the thing I focus on is yeah. what I learned in Palmer, which is yeah. the adjustment, uh -huh. correct verbal subluxations, mm -hmm. and subluxations in the extremities. So mm -hmm. that's all I do here is adjust the joints. Mm -hmm. If it's got a joint, I can adjust it. Oh, there we oh. go. Good. I know they're all waiting for me to say, and when I was younger, I used to smoke them, now I adjust them. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and so were my legs uh, even when you did the... They were. Oh, that's good. Okay. And your right shoulder moved really well today, too. That's good, too. So this move is... Uh, Adjusting the glenohumeral <laughs> joint. So to put it back in position, usually it's too, the like, and jet it out. To yeah, jet it's, it out it's because we're always, like, reaching all the time. Yep. Gotcha. This is the olecranon process in gotcha. the ulnar, or ulnar bone. Gotcha. In the humerus. So, um, and then this is the carpals. Carpals. Yeah. You can't do that one yourself. These are the phalanges. Right, right. These are your metacarpals. Those don't usually move too well. Gotcha. Okay, let's come over here. So the, the clicker, is that what part of The adjustment is, this This is a atlas specific adjusting instrument, mm -hmm. and if you see, see it's got a high velocity, <laughs> low amplitude okay. thrust on it too. Gotcha. So when I hit the transverse process of your atlas, mm -hmm. the atlas reverberates sideways on the x-axis and mm -hmm. then settles back down on the C2 vertebra as well as the occiput and it stimulates the brain stem, the medulla oblongata, mm -hmm. which sends afferent proprioceptive neurological information into your cerebellum, which is the hindbrain. Mm -hmm. Cerebellum controls balance, posture, coordination, and all kinesthetic movement. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing with this atlas-specific adjusting instrument mm -hmm is we're affecting neurospinal learning, which is also called neuroplasticity. Mm -hmm, yep. And and that's exactly what this does. People think that this doesn't do anything, but mm -hmm. you can tell a definite difference before and after when I do this, it's gotcha. smoother. So you move them in a... It's just a lateral mm -hmm. adjustment on the transverse process of the atlas. Gotcha. The atlas kind of reverberates around, settles back down on top of C2, and then mm -hmm. lines up with the occiput up gotcha. here to mm -hmm. surround the the uh, medulla oblongata. Gotcha. Okay, let's flex you forward and backwards again. Yep. There we go. I'm going to bring this to the left just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, I'm going to tap your atlas mm -hmm. there. There. Mm -hmm. Okay, now relax. Now, this one should feel a little bit smoother to you, Bing, this time. Should feel like I put a little WD-40 in there. That feels pretty good. Yep. Good deal. I'm excited to measure myself when I get home. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. I'll see if I cool. grew yeah. a quarter inch, yeah. Uh, at least, I think. <laughs> <laughs> at least. So what would you tell our YouTube fans around the world about your experience here this week? Again, this is a very unique procedure. You're not going to get manual spinal decompression anywhere else. I've seen it help so many people in your videos, yeah. like dramatically. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still going to be search. I'm still going to be on the path of healing and everything. I want to see how everything feels after a week or so. Right. But it, the price, the price is agreeable. You're obviously doing it for the sake of other people's healing. Mm -hmm. You don't have any ulterior motives. Right. That's extremely clear coming here. No ulterior motives. He's just here for the healing, and that's 
that's principle based healing. Like that's there's not much you can ask ask for, is there? Yeah, I try to treat every patient like they were our family or Jesus Christ Himself. Well, I figure if I do that, I can't go wrong. You do do that, you know. Yeah. I'm, even when you're tired at the end of the week, ten hour day, <laughs> four days a week, you know, stuff. I hope you get some good dinner with you and Renee. Oh yeah, yeah. we will. Yeah. Well, thank you for yeah. your visit this yeah, week. Yeah, it's and, been a pleasure. And sharing you. with our YouTube audience, we appreciate. It. We wish you all the best when you get back up to Seattle. All right, thank you. Thank you. You'll have some yeah. more rain waiting on you probably when all you get right, there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this yep. is your Houston chiropractor coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas with your Seattle pharmacist, Bing. <laughs> we'll see y'all soon.